Hey, I'm Nick Avalon Gamer, and this is the Road to the Record, where I've worked to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the decathlon. Like to see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Pro Cycling Manager 2018 Career Mode Episode 53. Now, I've got to start paying more attention to which Pro Cycling Manager I am on because 2019 is coming out very soon and this series will continue for some time. I don't know what time, but it will continue at least for a while after the release of 2019. But I will also have a 2019 career mode. So this is Pro Cycling Manager 2018 and we continue on with episode 53 here. It is the national championships for this episode. We'll see how long, how far we get, but there are some messages first. So some quick business here at the end of June. The Breton Classic, well, not us. Vattenfall, uh, Cyclassics, interesting name, and not us. Van Hamelin back from injury. We have some new equipment. New truck frames, you can see 2020. And very comfortable, relatively light. This one's good in a lot of ways, but it's not perfect on the lightness. This one, extremely comfortable. So it's great for cobbles. But that, that's it. Okay, and finally, the final standings for the Tour de Suisse. Garen Thomas, Pierre Latour, and Chris Froome, top three. And Garen Thomas, not for Team Sky. Once again, he is riding for a quick step floors here in game. All right. National Championships. I'm going to take it one event at a time. Make the decision on the spot who should be in. First, looking at the briefing, this one, 43 kilometers, so it is full time trial. And time trial ability, well, for Vecchi, he's not going to do anything there. He's a 58. But Van Himlen, Veldeman, they're high enough. We'll give them a chance. Uh, do I want to send the doctor with them? Not really, not for these guys. Somebody else is going to be going on the same day, so I'll save the doctor. I only have one doctor on staff, so he's only going to be able to ride one of these. Uh, we still have the American team time, uh, individual time trial. We still have the Dutch individual time trial, where I'll have multiple riders. Camp Arts is the favorite. Kazart, Evenpool, I've got an upcoming series, and what has been suggested to me via comments, and feel free to uh, leave a comment yourself if you have not already commented on this, but it's been suggested to me that what I should go for in the next career mode series is stick with a continental setup initially, but let's go times eight for a little while here. Uh, but what I should do with it is I should go for the best young riders that I can get my hand on. So instead of starting at literally nothing, like I did for this series, uh, I should at least eh, start with a decent amount so I could build up a little bit quicker. Uh, you know, eventually this series, it's this series will not continue on for forever. That series I fully expect to have write about two episodes a week for at least a year. So if we're talking write about two episodes a week or nearly two episodes a week, that means we could easily get to 100 episodes in that series. I'm on 53 right now for this one. So I'm, I'm halfway there comparative, and this one will go on for a while yet. But if I start out a little bit higher, a little bit, you know, be able to hit Pro Continental by the second year, uh, theoretically, 
then I could hit World Tour a little bit sooner. Be a little bit better off. Maybe I start with a better balance if I'm starting with a better team and not fighting it quite as hard. You know, if we, if we start with a, a more decent balance, uh, maybe a better sponsorship type offer that will allow me to move up a little bit quicker. Uh, Wout Van Aert has a massive lead right now, minute and a half ahead of Van Hoof. And so the Belgian for Lotto Sudal, 57 minutes, is crushing it so far. Van Hemmelen and Veldman, well, they still haven't come up yet. It's going to be a while. We still have 40 riders before Van Hemmelen sets off. But you can see that uh, we're on at least a looping track because they're, they're all coming around that corner and heading the same way. And they, ah, let's see, there's the finish. So the finish is close to the start line, but you gotta run this this whole loop. Six kilometers, the wind, whoop, 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 hello, slow down, there we go. No, that's Van, that is, that is somebody. Vandenberg, okay, we ride with Vandenberg. We're gonna take a look quickly at the course. Uh, this is a lot of turns on a very, very flat course. Win at your back for the first roughly half of, of the loop. And Emily will be up fairly soon. There's that corner that you turn. The unfortunate glitch. And that looked like the... Oh! That's how many laps. It's a bunch of laps that you're going to run. Yes? Yeah. So it's actually a pretty small course. Yeah, two, two laps and then some. So three laps maybe? So these guys are all over the place. Look at that. <laughs> And Hemlin, there we go. Uh, I'm going to set a 72 initially, and we'll see how he's doing. He is a 66 as a time trialist. Not very good. 95% fitness, but a minus one race day condition. Though the minuses aren't affecting anything, so he's neutral. Okay, well, times four. Not much to see. Just much to do. 72 seems to be banking some, so we'll go 73. Still might be banking a little bit of energy. I did not mean to go 75. Let's go 74. Outpacing this guy. And that seems to be about right now, 74. So we'll probably start Veldeman at a 74. For now, let's go 75. Seventy six. Thirty seven seconds down at the first check, minute thirty second, we move up seventeen spots, and the seventy six does seem to be a bit more appropriate here. He's kinda of holding steady now. Veldeman about to get started, so we'll start Veldeman on a seventy five. go. Uh, Veldeman, plus one today. He's a 68 with a plus two, so he's a 70 on his time trial. Could and should do significantly better than Van Hamlin, so let's go ahead and push that 76 back. There's Crass. And yeah, we're starting to get into a little bit of a negative here, or thereabouts. Uh, we scooted up the standings a lot to 31st. 212 down at the final check. Going to drop back to a 75 though as he is starting to hit deficit spending on the energy. Feldman 76 seems to be about holding, but I think a 75 
is the way to go. Ben Hemlin coming up on the finish line, though he has just run out of energy. Ah, no, only just before the line. That's good. 29th. Okay, he moved up a bit. 29th, 249 down. Just outside of the top 20. There's Veldman finishing his first lap. At the first checkpoint, he was 13 seconds down in the top 20, so a much better start than his teammate. Could he get a top 25? Could see it happening. Coming up on the second checkpoint. Oh, it's starting to rain, though. This is not good. This will slow times down. Sixth place, just 35 seconds down into the top 10 at the second checkpoint. And his 75 is doing just fine. We're going to go times four here. This rain, though, is worrying. I'm not worried about him falling down. That doesn't seem to happen on, on these time trials, though they do in real life all the time. And he's right about there on the energy at a 75. Final checkpoint. Still in the top 10, sixth place. 58 seconds, but we can see that his 6th is now 16th. So there's about 10 riders after him, and they are all going faster. In fact, there goes the second favorite, Cassart, passing us up. So we're not going to beat him. So that time's dropping. So we're looking at a top 20. Top 20 at this point. Uh... Finish line, finish line, finish line. Ah, finish line. Okay, sixth again. Minute 19, but that's going to drop. That is going to drop. That third checkpoint. Continuing to slide backwards. 13th. Finish line now seventh. He's a minute 19 down. And like I said, most of these guys are going to come in ahead of him. 16th again at the third checkpoint. That's probably, yeah, Kaplan Arts. It's probably everyone now. So we're looking at some really big names. Evan Pohl, Kaplan Arts, Cassart, Ben Hermans, Lampart, DeGant. I mean, that is that is all massive names in the top finishing group. Uh, but anyway, what I was talking about for the, the new playthrough is... Evan Pohl is somebody I'll look at to be our team leader. Uh, if he pushes us to Pro Continental, then I'll have to turn him down, but uh, I'd like to bring him in. in. Final standings, Campenart takes the win, Evan Pohl takes second, Cassart takes third. We are outside of the top 10, but we'll see if I did hang on to top 25 placement, roughly 16th. And yeah, 16th. So we kept that position from the second checkpoint all the way to the finish. Just behind Thomas again. It's good. Yeah. Surrounded by big names. So that really is, I mean, the, Almost everyone ahead of us is World Tour quality, well-known racers. All right, well, that's one in the books. We're going to move on to the next. We ride with Nicola Conci in the Italian individual time trial. I left Marini at home as uh, he was a terrible time trialist and wasn't going to do anything. So we let Conci ride. This one is about 38 kilometers in all. Conchi's on a plus one race day condition with a plus two to his time trial, giving him a 73 right now, making him a contender for the top 10. This is a slightly downhill section, less than one degree of downhill slope, but at least it is some downhill slope. And even after turning this corner, it's going to continue downhill for a good while. Uh, we've got a headwind for the first part of this race, and then it's going to be a crosswind uh, through the end. It's not a lot. It's just six uh, kilometers per hour. 
and we've got a little bit of uphill later on, so I think we actually are expending a bit too much energy right now. Damiano Caruso now going fastest for uh, riding for BMC. He's got a 48.06 half minute clear. We're coming up on that first checkpoint. I think I'm just starting to now bank some energy to speed this up for now. I would like to be banking some energy for that climb towards the end. And we are sixth, just 12 seconds off the pace. And there's only a handful of riders behind me. And I could be in amongst them, though we do drop to seventh for now. Caruso was two seconds down at that point. Still in seventh, so we're doing good on that part. The 75 is definitely banking a little bit of energy just very slowly. We're down to eighth. Still riders finishing. But some of them behind us at that first checkpoint, so we're, we're doing good on that part. And we've got that little bit of energy stored up for the climb. Or we can push a little harder. Conchi's a good climber too, so that should help him. He is down to 10th. But only 21 seconds down. Uh, Filippo Ghana has gone top. Down to 11th. Getting closer to that checkpoint. Times two for now. All right, let's go ahead and turn our attention to the second checkpoint where we are now 12th at the first. Just 21 seconds behind. We're gonna hit that second. Fifth now, fifth. 21 seconds. Looking good. And how's that energy looking? It's it's going through it pretty quick. 73. Back off some. 74. 5k to go. Okay, and 75. No, 74, 74. Don't run out, don't run out. It's a little climb at the finish. 73. 1k to go, 1k to go. Don't run out of energy too fast. There you go. Finish, finish. Second! We will be in the top 10. We will definitely be in the top 10. Second to Caruso. Coutinho comes in just behind us. Astanas Konyashev takes 8th. Fabio Fellini, 3rd. <laughs> Armelini, 8th. Gianni Mascon, last few riders here. He's 3rd, he's 2 seconds behind us. Oh, <laughs> kind of goes fastest. We're down to 3rd. Severo, last 2 riders, last 2 riders. Can we keep a podium? Fini, oh, he's going to go up there. He does. Oh, he slipped to fourth. So close. Two seconds ahead of Moscon. So good. So good. So close. Fourth place for Nikola Kanchi. Well done, son. Well done. So top 10 classification, just missing out on a podium. But that was nicely done. So the US, uh, I've already gone past Couillard and the French one. Nothing to air there. He's no time trialist. We'll jump uh, straight into the next one. Final 50k flying through at the moment, but uh, we'll slow it down when we get up there, or it'll just slow it down itself when uh, <laughs> the small breakaway group is nearly caught and they decide to start attacking one another, hanging on desperately for a little bit longer. This is the Belgian National Road Race. Uh, we are done with the individual time trials. 
there was nothing much to see in the rest of them, and actually I quick simmed a few of them as, well, the only healthy, decent time trialist I had was Kanchi. And he managed to top 10, which was awesome. Uh, turns out that I had two sponsor objectives for the individual time trial. Top 10s. One for France, and Gouillard was all we had for that, and he was closer to uh, uh, bottom 10 than he was to top 10. Actually, he was quite close to the bottom 10. Uh, but then, the other one was Italy. So, Conchi, his top 10, his top 5, actually, exceeded the top 10 requirement. So, we got a double good and one bad. Uh, and actually, like, full negative because he was nowhere near placing anything. Uh, so, we took a little hit, actually, on those sponsor objectives. And we're down to 18 kilometers here. I have just three riders in Van Hemlin for Vecchi and Veldeman. Veldeman, the only one who's a decent sprinter. Van Hemlin's got a little bit of pace to him, so Vecchi will be the first guy used up. And actually, he's quite used up right now, just trying to hang in the group as they are attacking quite hard, our 85s. These guys are really struggling to keep up with the pace at the moment. No breakaway group. This is all just work in the peloton for positioning. Trying to attack, well, you know, teams like me. <laughs> teams like me that are a bit inferior to the others. Let's go ahead and at least get set here. We are not attacking yet. Verveki is going to try to hold that position. Stop sliding backwards. I hate when it does that when you switch the tactic and suddenly somebody's just like, oh, okay, I'm going to relax and and slide back 20 wheels from where I just was. An attack is launched. The group has to break apart. Only 10 kilometers left. One rider off the front. Dubai. He's not going anywhere though. Pace is way too hot for this. But for Fecky, looking quite weak. So really, I, I have no intention of attacking with him. I'm, I'm trying to hold on as long as I can, which means it's going to be really hard to get a lead out for Veldman. And Veldman, not much of a sprinter, so we'll be lucky to get a top 10 here. Here we go. He is just about done. Just hanging on. Pace coming out. Pace coming out, but Campenart's taken off. And actually, this whole group is taken off. They, they are off the front. Three riders off the front. And as we are down to 4K, now it is time to kind of get things moving along. Let's go 97, Van Hemlin. Get forward, bring Veldeman. Bring Veldeman. There you go. Oh, this, this could work. This could work. Okay, Van Hemlin. 99. Lead him out. Lead him out. Lead him out. And Veldeman. Veldeman. Come on, Veldeman. Get through that pack. Get through that pack. He didn't have the room. He was blocked by Stoyven, and then he ran out of energy. I don't know why he ran out of energy when he wasn't actually sprinting. 11th. So close to a top 10. <laughs> uh, Jasper Philipson takes the win. Jasper Stoyven takes second. So close to a top 10. Should have had a top 10. Got hung up on Steuben, but somehow was still just flying through his energy, even though he was definitely not fully open. He kept sitting up going, I can't attack. Oh, I can't attack. Oh, wait, still can't attack. Finally found him a little bit of space, but then he was out of energy. And I thought he did not attack early. I thought he would have had plenty of energy left, but... He is not a top sprinter. He's a 71 and a 70 on sprint and acceleration. So didn't expect much, but it would have been nice to squeeze in that top 10. On to the next one. There's an attack in the leading group. Some riders were not giving it their all and sharing the pace. 40 kilometers left here in the French road race. Gouillard, the only participant, the only rider on my team that is French. He's got a chance because it is technically a sprint. I'm 
Really worried though as rain has started to fall and almost immediately there was a crash. That's the reason for the group off the back and I'm afraid there could be more especially with the type of terrain that we have for this one is it's very punchy. Looks like I saw a flash of lightning there though I don't think this game actually has uh, lightning in it. Breakaway of four riders. They're down to just 30 seconds. They've already started attacking each other, trying to stay out a little bit longer as we get now into the final 30 kilometers. Pace really pick it up here. Guillard at an 84 was struggling to uh, stay in place. Now at an 87, he continues to struggle. So the pace is getting even hotter here. You see that? You can read the pain on the faces at the back of the peloton. There's a growing number of 89 definitely enough, but also way too much speed to last 20 kilometers. The breakaway has been caught and now riders are falling off the back. So this is getting a little hectic. And without any riders to support and protect, this could be a very difficult final 17k. I'm going to try to back off a little bit here and just hang on. There are just 15 kilometers left. Goffet is really pushing the pace here. A lot of French riders on that team, so they've got a full contingent in this race to work together. We are down to 10 kilometers at least, but uh, slow this down to times one for the final 10k. We are getting kind of right on edge, but that was the worst of the climbing behind us. We've got one more climb, and then that's going to be about it. And we've got 23 riders left in the peloton. Is all now our chances are really going up? I mean, we're already looking at top 25. Pace, pace just went out of this group though. Bomb FD, FDJ should be attacking this and they're not. Now all of a sudden we're right back to 45 riders with 5k to go. There's nothing I can do. I have one rider alone. It's it's a sprint for him. And he's got to hope that that's exactly what we're going to end up with is a sprint. As here goes three riders off the front. Alaphilippe in that group. We are in a good position to sprint this one out, but he's really getting down there. Now sprint. Come on, Guillard. Come on, where's that speed? Where's that speed? Oh, he's out of energy. Ah, see, that's why I couldn't attack any earlier than I did. He's in the top ten, though. He's in the top ten. Can he cross the line ninth? No. <laughs> V-Show gets him by a millimeter. 10th place though, top 10, that's good. Guillard, top 10. Uh, Dumar beats out Buwani, who beats out Cockard. That's a tough group to beat. Laporte, Alphalete takes sixth, Kalmajan, Millard, eighth, Bichot, and we get 10. And amongst a lot of big names, I mean, we're ahead of Bargui. Boudet, and there's, there's a lot of good riders further down that list. So, top 10, another good result. Times two speed, we're in Italy for the national road race. Marini was here in support of Conchi. He got him over the first two major climbs and partway up the third one before uh, Marini faded and fell off from the group. Peloton's down to 68. Chasing two, and they're already just right there. Kanchi himself, a little bit tired. But he should get through this climb okay, and I think he'll be in that final group. The 
The pack has just reeled in the escape group. The peloton has slowed down a bit. Thirty-eight riders is all that's left now. There's the finish line. Next time we go up, that will be that will be it. And there, there we go. I don't need to attack this group. I just needed to get up a little bit higher. Seventeen riders is all that's left now. As we go over the top, fifteen riders. As we actually get over the crest and. The gap opening, those first two might get back on as they just missed. But they're going to have their work cut out for them trying to do so. And meanwhile, we're in solid recovery right now, so we're in good shape for that final. So we're looking at a top 15 placing as of right now. Watch out, a team leader is falling behind. Now, I don't think I'm in a position to really attack this group. This is more of just trying to get a top 10 or maybe a top 5. So as a result, uh, I don't want to attack. I just want to hang on We've got 15 kilometers to the finish line. and see if we can get as high as we can. Here we go. The final ascent. Immediately, Conti is attacking. And Formolo... Where is Formolo? There's Formolo. Formolo's a climber, and he's a threat. Would I try to go with this? I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to go with this attack. I'm feeling he'll get reeled back in. Formolo decided not to attack, and sure enough, Conti, no problem. Ooh, never mind. He is off the front after all, but that was... A really huge effort from him and you can see how already how bad his shoulders are swaying side to side just through that little section and the real climb still to come up around here a few bends later but nobody is given much of a chase right now so he's actually pulling out a little bit of a gap 28 seconds 9k to go yeah, he's pulled out a little more time, but he's not going to have anything left for the final climb. And meanwhile, we are doing okay for that. Coming up on it here. I'm going to use my gel in a moment. 5k to go. Okay, gel. Slow it down. Moscon, the favorite. Two and a half K. The attack is on. Everybody kind of go in their pace. Under two K. Conti somehow still up there. Still finding a way. One K to go. There goes the sprint. The Into the top the 12. Four riders going off the front. I'm looking like a top 10 right now. Oof, running out of energy just before the line, though. Formolo, Moscon. Formolo's going to take it over Moscon. Ulysses, Via, Via, uh, Via Lella, Ciccone. There's Fabio Aru. We're right behind Fabio Aru for 7th place. Take it. Nice. Another solid top 10 performance at the National Championships. Pazzavivo behind us. Di Marquis, Fallini. Conti, all behind us. See, Conti used way too much energy. Cost him. Top 10, he ends up in 11th. There's still 80 kilometers to go, but we're seeing massive splits here in the Dutch National Championships. Constant undulation here, and we are right on the edge yo-yoing with the peloton so we're trying to get back forward right now it's Van Gideken and Bax that are here for this one and they're a little bit overmatched for what this course has to offer for now they're hanging on uh, 
but I think if I lose Bax, Van Ginniken will not last much longer on his own. And now just 23 riders chasing five. Breakaway never had more than about four minutes. They're already down to a minute and a half of that. Down to just 20 riders. It's going quick here. And uh, Bax is going to be out the back here pretty soon himself. So the pace is still really hot. There we go. That's two -thirds of the race behind it's us. even on the flat that these guys are falling out the back. There we go. Bax. Bax is probably going to get lost here this time. Maybe. Yep, there you go. There goes Bax on his own. He's got his water. And now it's just Van Gittiken riding alone. 19 riders chasing now. Need to get him water still, but we still have over 60 kilometers. I usually try to do that at the 60k mark, so we'll look for a good opportunity to grab that water ourselves here in a little bit. We're just about there now. But he's also just about there on the uh, edge of not having enough. Go times four for a little bit here. Can we hang on? We do have a top 25 placing as of right now. That looks like a really bad fall. It's a shame, but he's not going any further. I think I saw a few riders on the ground. But if he does get dropped, how far back is he going to go? Bax is already four minutes behind this group. 16 riders now. Breakaway group shattering, and half of them are caught. Three of them are caught. But Van Gittiken also just ran out of energy. There's an abandon in the back. Let's hope that the rider isn't too upset. Time limits, maybe? Getting lapped? The group is slowly thinning out. Due to such Ooh, a four riders off the front. I'm in a group of 14 chasing. Yeah, no, back together. 18 riders left in contention. And I'm <laughs> very soon going to be eliminated from that contention. I'd love it if I was in a group of about 10 that split off. And now I'm actually in a peloton of just 10. 15. It's going to split here. I'm not the only one going out the back. I mean, even Tolhoax struggling. Molinar, Arsboom, and uh, there we go. We're out the back. The whole front just shattered big time, and there's still 40 kilometers to go in this. Eight riders on the front, three given chase, so I'm just outside of the top ten. Whoa, and now I'm on my own. They just left me in the dust. I need to get that heart rate down so that we can recover. It's not happening yet. Several riders are attempting to break away. And a man, boom, leaving me behind. Might be easier once we get over the top of this. I'd really like to start managing the heart rate. If we can get it under 140, we can recover. But it's so much up and down undulation, it's really hard to manage right now. Oh, there we go. Caught back up to these guys. Let me just sit on. They are so much better than I am. Hey, recovery, at least at the moment. Watch out. A team leader is falling behind. Ooh, they left me in the dust quick. 
Dang, little acceleration and just like that, out the back we go. Just got caught by another group. And they're going to leave me behind too, aren't they? Just can't get any form of recovery right now. I'm five minutes behind already. 20k, I mean we've only covered half the distance and lost almost six minutes to the front group. Last we saw was down to about seven. Oh gosh, here comes a huge group now. And they just rode right on through. I never even got a, you know, anything. No blinking red, just boom, off they went. Finally recovered a little bit though, so pacing much better now. But I think I'm well outside of the top 25 at this point. 12k to go. Pick up other riders. Ten K to go. Leaders have five K to go. There are just five kilometers left. So they're halfway around the last lap. Half a lap behind. Decent amount of recovery now. The <laughs> group just got larger and larger. That's all just setting me back further and further. Terpstra, toll, toll hook has gotten back to the front. So there must be a larger group now. Come on guys, why am I... Uh, keep just sliding backwards for no reason. Toll hook takes the win over Vanderpool. Terpstra, Umen, Malama, Poles, Kelderman, seven riders. Leave this group behind. Try to get up to this group a little bit. Can I catch this group of nine? Three K to go. I did. These guys, none of them are racing for anything anymore, so. Two and a half K to go. I left them behind, but I also used up all my energy, but it's fine. Okay, here we go. Through the truck, through the barriers, to the finish. 11th, 11th, okay. I missed the top 10 though. I did miss the top 10, but hey, I got all the way back up to 11th place, beating those final groups because they they gave up on the race. We were over 10 minutes down. I, I was looking for a placing. I just wanted to get in the top 25, and not only did I do that, but I beat Tom DeMoulin, who finished in 18th. Lars Boom, Creator, those were the guys that I was riding with, so I, I moved past all of them in those final few kilometers. It got all the way back up to 11th, just missing the top 10 by 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one national championship left, and it's going to be the U.S. national championship. And I've got almost no riders left for that one. So uh, at this point, I might not even bother to air that one. Uh, I have nobody to contend for it. So I suppose I'm, I'm going to let that one go. And uh, we'll, we'll call that an episode here. We'll see what kind of points I've managed to score with, what, we've had three top tens, one time trial and two road race top tens, uh, an 11th, 10 and a half minutes down, huge gap. I mean, I was four minutes behind Van, uh, Van Barl and seven behind Pullman. And they gave those guys the same time as me. They were like 30 seconds behind.
All right, on to the standings. Did we get anything? Did we get anything at all? 1898. 1898. Uh, yeah, we got a little bit. Got a little bit. We got about 70 points. So, I'll take it. Coming up on the 2000 mark. And in the game of the Decathlon, that would be 200 points. We're having ourselves a good season. It's July, so last chance. We'll look at the calendar here as we wrap things up. With just the one national championship, and like I said, nothing's going to happen in that one for the U.S. Uh, we will definitely be done with that. But just a couple races left in the month of July. A time trial. The Ride London Classic, and then we are on to August. So in the next episode, we will be signing a sponsorship deal, and look at that. Sponsors very, very happy with our results here. So we've got that taken care of. Sponsor confidence maxed out. Results very happy. Uh, Guyard his top ten. Conchi, his top ten. Both of them very well received the top 10 in the time trial not seen as a major result for us but these results have really set the tone for this season uh, registered riders kachi there that's helped as well it's been a good season it's definitely been a good season we're looking at a twelve thousand dollar bonus so that puts us puts Puts us at 78000 However, I'm going to be looking into a new sponsor here at the end of the month. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, there's no sponsor objectives left this month. So we have definitely got the super success all but secured. Like I said, there you go. 78000 A 12000 increase. But we'll see if we can get more elsewhere because we are actually already coming up on the maximum and we've already seen how this sponsor works it's six to twelve thousand increase bit by bit season by season and that's that's not enough we we need another sponsor who could take us higher where we could eventually get into the world tour because we're definitely not going to do that on a hundred thousand a month budget that's going to do it for this episode on decathlon gamer and remember i'm aiming for the best of the best so if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe and tune in next time on my Road to the Record.